Did you see a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Fort Tudor. The old factory off of Argus Street. Fucking Russians have got to Charlie Matei. They told this top Ancelotti couple that it was us that took the sugar. Who knows how the fuck they did? I didn't tell nobody. It don't matter. What has to happen is that you gotta take out Chubby Charlie before he chops it into Algonquin to tell the commission that we're knocking off the Ancelotti's action. So I go into this factory and I ice this fat Charlie? That's right. I'm gonna go make a lot of noise so no one thinks I had anything to do with it. Oh, All right, now the way I sees it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you. See you later.
You don't need to worry about the fat man singing. He's lost his voice. That's a real shame. How about them swingers, huh? Great work, man. Great work. Out of the car! You're a dead man! I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Here. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend, James Pegorino. I don't know what Spare you're- Spare me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years. <laughs> You mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally come to an end? <laughs> I know it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> but if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. 
Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. <sighs> okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <coughs> He's coming in from upstate. <sighs> He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. You guys waiting hey man, for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall. All right? Yeah. Sure. Coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. Oh, I'm gonna bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is gonna be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my... Come on, cowboy, get... Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm going to go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson. Let's get out of here. Stop at anything, these people. If I get out of here, punk strike. Get us to the Civic Citadel. 
That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're gonna try to take out a politician, you better take him. More Russians wanting to kill you. How about that? Thanks for the advice. American gangsters like John Gravelli understand the way life works. They get the limits of their power. In Europe, the politicians are as crooked as the gangsters. They don't understand that things are different here. Yeah, sure. You are as clean as the driven yeah. snow. I'll explain that important cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if our paths cross. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show, some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. When is that damn delivery service going to get here? Mr. Grovelli, I took that friend of yours to City Hall. He should be giving his speech any minute. Yeah, did yeah, good. Heard you had some trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians to find something. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals when they want it so bad? You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Grovelli? See you later. Roman, how are you? Fantastic, cousin. Mallory is going to make me the happiest groom on earth. How are you? Good. I feel like I'm getting close. I've been working for John Gravel. John Gravel? The head of the Gambetti crime family. Shit, because this man is very dangerous. This man is nearly dead, cousin. He knows the government agent that Michelle forced me to work for. They say they will give me Darko. You don't know how long I waited for this woman. It is nearly over. Don't so, get ahead of yourself, Nico. Be careful around this man. Where you been? Give me a break. Mr. Jacob, it's Nico. You wanna have a drink, man? Nico, I'm gonna take your gun away, man. You haven't gone in a long time. Yeah, mom, pick me up in about an hour, see? Great. See you in the bed, Jacob. Let's get going, my brother. All right, man, how is it going? Same old, you know, getting by. How's Batman? Batman fakes me something wicked at the moment in the star. Won't leave him place unless he's packing more heat than the sun. Getting all paranoid and shit. Yeah? Is someone out to get him? If you ask him if he jet on the corner, he's all forgetting, but it's all a spiff in the smoking, man. He don't do him head no good. You seem to be okay, and you smoke a lot. Blocking up don't affect kind of the same way, you know. I know you chill, Jed. I don't like that cuss cuss in the way a bad man doing it. The Earl McBadman's head working all type of ways I'm should be working. I'm thinking his friend is after him. He ain't turning on me yet, you know, but one day, you know. One day. Shit, I wouldn't want to see the fight if you two went against each other. No, I, Rasta, no, I. And I'm gonna get drunk and stupid. We'll have a good time in our hands.
sign here, come I can't take the drink so good. No problem. My all mud up. The back of front. The world is turning gone the wrong way. So you say? So it is, man. You know, so me I mash up, man. I mash up. Just make me cry in peace, man. I'm wasted. Maybe I better not drive. Don't press. I ain't at it, bro. Oh, good seeing you, Rasta. nicer than the last one. The top, no nice way to say this, it's not really working. I'm not really feeling the pants. I'm not really feeling the shoes. So. So what? So you. So me what? So are you another one? Another what? Another one like my brothers, a tough guy with a death wish. A man eager to get into hell as soon as possible. Probably. How annoying. What is wrong with you people, you men? What's wrong with me? Quite a lot, I'm sure. Why don't you want to live? To live a normal life, I mean. Get married, have kids, not steal, rob, kill. It can't be easier than having a job, I mean. From a distinguished family of alcoholics, as you know. Let's go. That bar was fun. Shit, I'm drunk. Don't worry. No, why would I worry? Why would I fucking worry? I'd have crazy out drinking with a killer and with his family so fucked up, I don't even want to talk about it. Why would I worry? What in God's name have I got to worry about? Fuck, I'm just neurotic, aren't I? Really self-indulgent, really idiotic, pathetic. What are you gonna do now? Shoot me? Probably. You psycho. You crazy. Shut up, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it.
Okay, y'all working my nerves. The police! I guess this is good night then. That was fun, but this is good night. Goodbye, Kate. To see you. You too. How are you, Mr. Gravelli? Good, good. I was just speaking to our mutual friend about you. He said how efficient you were. I like that. Then he mentioned something about a Darko Brevich. What? He did? Yeah. He's located the guy. It seems he wasn't in Switzerland at all, but in Bucharest. He'll be here soon. Good, good. And it seems your Russian friends are getting the message. Some of them. Oh, okay, so... I think it's our turn to do a favor for that mutual friend of ours. Seems some Korean has come into the country and... and is selling money at a discount. You don't need me to tell you that it's all fugazi. Faker than a pair of vine wood tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Listen, I need you to deal with this. Eliminate the guy. What he's doing is no good for the economy and no good for patriots like you and me. <laughs> so who is he? His name is Kim Young Guk. He'll be very well protected. He eats at Mr. Fook. Fuck. <laughs> Mr. Gravelli, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm fine. Wait, 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 wait. What was I saying? Kim Young Gook, he eats at. Yeah, right. Right, right. He, he eats at a restaurant called Mr. Fook's Rice Box. Yeah, in Alderney City. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Where is Kim? He's upstairs, speaking with the manager. They don't want to see nobody, though. Kim and I are old friends. Kim got a lot of money. He don't need no friends. Get lost! You have exactly five fucking seconds!
Damn you! Look around! You fuck now! If you play stupid, you're not going to live very long. Where's Tim? Uh, he heard you come. He ran out back through the kitchen. Past his last false bill, Mr. Gravelli. Well done, my boy. This is gonna be a fruitful partnership for us both. It's all about problems and solutions. Ah, Nico! Of course, you guys already know each other. Nico, good to see you. Interesting friendships you both keep. Yeah, very interesting. The mayor will be here in a minute, and I have two senators dropping by later. Everyone wants to pay homage to a dying legend. Everyone wants the glamour of a bygone age. Everyone. Now that you hear what I said. Yeah, I heard what you said. Nico, our friend here, is telling me that the Ancelotti's are in league with the Russians. Ancelotti's? I know these guys 73 years. In 1972, I should have killed his uncle, but I spared him. And this is how he repays me? Unbelievable! And now he's dealing drugs with Ivan the goddamn terrible! <laughs> so what we're saying is, this is a matter of security, national. Normally, I don't care about cocaine. Keeps controllable people in power. But this is no good. All right, what's my role in this? The distribution network is a fleet of vans parked at a grocery warehouse in Alderney City. The product is packed into the frames of the vans, ready to be moved all over the country. Destroy everything, whatever it takes. And for me? For you. I've got a real gift for you. Get this done, then we'll talk.
I have put your competitors out of business. You've given a dying man a few minutes of happiness, Nico. I'm pleased to be helping you out with this thing you need. We'll speak again when Darko Brevich is in the country. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care I'll now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay. It's not like that. We talk. So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But Phil, and I don't mean to take advantage, but... Maybe I need help on time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> I mean... I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. It's about time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting. He's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy who can disappear real easy with a fed show. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife. And she was smart enough to ruin my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough. You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look, I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive and out of the pen. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces. If none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want. There you are. Frankie, you've been keeping your eyes open out here. You seen anyone snooping around? I ain't seen a soul, boss. It's a ghost house. I got the horse loaded into two cars for you. I don't know, this don't feel right. Shit, Frankie, you dumb fuck! The feds have been watching us all along! Nico, get in that car and follow me!
Are you fucking blind? You don't know there's the 50 fans watching these cars. I thought Phil was just paranoid. Give me a break, man. I got a lot on my mind, you know? I didn't have much time to scope this out. My ma's kind of sick. I've been looking after her. And my sister? I've been putting her through college. Shut up! These fans are all over me. I'm sorry, man. It's just, I only got married the other day. God, I love that kid. You want to see a picture? I don't want to see a fucking picture. I'm trying to get us out of this situation. Maybe then you can spend time with your wife instead of some jailhouse bitch. They're all over the boss, Nico! Sneako! Nico, they're all over us. We, we're ditching the cars and going on foot. Park up behind me when I stop. All right. Nico, grab the stuff from the trunk and follow me. I got a van we could use. More fucking bacon shit! ain't flipping me if I'm caught, and they better not flip you either. Damn, this is a wild ride. I didn't think I was gonna come out of that one. You're fucking lucky that you did. Lucky any of us did. Don't I know it, Phil. I should have seen him. I've been telling Nico I got a lot on my mind. Next time, mind on the job. This ain't a fucking joke. Jesus, sometimes I wish I could just go inside and forget about all this. You got a wife, you got a ma, don't play around with your life. Don't play around with other people's lives either. I don't want to take a bullet or a stint in the pen for anyone else's fuck up. All right, guys, shit, I'm sorry. Nico. You've done good for me. There's been some fucked up shit going on, but you've been keeping cool. You're a good earner. I got respect for you. Hey, let's see if we get back before you start talking like this, shall we? This ain't over until we got the H in a safe place. You're damn right. Son of a bitch!
Nice driving, Nico. We're gonna be able to shift this H for a lot of money. Might just keep the Begarino family's head above water. See you around. Nice to have a friend who understands the madness that I've lived through. You know what my family is like. I do, but I don't think that any life is not mad. You are here in America. You have had opportunities that most of the world could not imagine. An Irish family manages to make it the 18th century when or wherever they are. The men in my family are just highwaymen and moralists, usually both in equal measure. I don't know if I'd agree that Packy was a moralist. It seems like a highwayman through and through. You should see him around me. If a man even looks in my direction, he threatens to rip his heart out. Well, it's a good thing that we are just friends. If this was a date, I'd be scared. It's nice to have a friend, Nico. I feel like you are someone I can speak to. Welcome to the war council, my boy. Gentlemen, what's going on? Nothing. Discussing pest control. Well, I've given you my advice, Peg. You do what you think is best. I agree. Finally. I mean, I don't agree with what he says. I agree that you know best. Excuse me? Relax. I didn't mean nothing by it. Look, either we make the right call or we all end up in prison anyway. Well, your crap ain't gonna do me no favors. Be careful. I'll see you later. Boss, gentlemen, you're only an associate, Phil. Remember that. Yeah, yeah, okay, tough Boss, guy. I gotta tell you this. He's not straight. Right before I came in here, I saw him talking to Angie again. You better leave. Uh, I need to speak to Nico. Sure, boss. But, uh, think about what I said. I will. You know? Trust me on that. We got real problems. Police are all over us. Maybe you heard, I got served papers today. Phil yesterday. We got a couple of boys in jail. I think they might squeal. Somebody's talking. Wants us out of the picture. Maybe John Gravelli. Or them Ancelotti's. Somebody got to my people. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I gotta shut someone up and show people I mean business. 
I've known Phil a long time. He's straight, more or less. I know him and Angie are friends, but that don't worry me too much. Hmm. Maybe he's too straight. Then there's Ray. I don't know. I don't trust him. But he's a good earner. I know he's got his eye on the big prize, but he's no dummy. Him and Phil hate each other. I gotta think about it. Okay. I'll give you a call. Whoever I say to go see, go see him. And shut him up! Alright, I feel like watching stuff blow up. You got the bomb for me? Okay, Nico, I've left some in West Dyke. That's your decision, Mr. Pegorino. It's done. I see his car. He should be heading over to a chop shop in Boabo. Don't get too comfortable with him, Nico. Like every rat, he's a survivor. He's got good instincts. He has a bad feeling about you in particular. He bought some protection and he ain't gonna hang around and wait for you know what to happen. Then again, I'll get his chump muscle to stop for gas out of the way. It might create a good opportunity for you. Meeting went to plan, Mr. Begorino. Cleaning out is a tough job, Bellic. I don't got much left in mind. It's so clean. I'll talk to you soon. Uh
flown in. We're going to drop him in the airport cargo area for you. No more jobs? Is that it? Am I out? You're out. You've done good things for us. We are grateful. That said, I've given you a lot of protection. From here in, you're alone. Goodbye. Roman, they brought Darko Brevich into the country for me. This is almost over. I'm going to finish it. Nico, you can't do this alone. I'm coming with you. Come collect me from Firefly Island. All right. Wait there for me. Disappointment is not a consideration. I have not been the same man since the day that Darko betrayed us, since I saw those things. You lost a lot of friends at that, Nico. We both did. In some way, our friends from the village were lucky. I lost myself that day, too. Everything that was good and innocent in me died along with them. If I could live those hours again, I think I would have preferred to be buried in the pit along with everyone else. This is all that is left of me. What am I good at, Roman? What is my trade? I deal in death. Because that is all that is over. I will tell you what you are good at, Nico. You are a good cousin and a good friend. You still have integrity. No matter what you say, there is humanity in you. You still have the power to be good. It's important that you believe that. Maybe I will start to believe it when Darko is dead. That might give me some perspective. This killing must stop sometime, Nico. Once this is done, then you must begin to forgive. Think about your future instead of the horrible things that have happened to you. To us! To all of us! In the past! After this is done, then we can talk about forgiveness and redemption. Now is not the time for such conversation. This is it. This is where it all ends. Remember me? Pusseme, ne poznajet. I don't know you. Yes, you do. I'm the one who survived. Nico, hello. Reci mi zašto? Zašto? Zato što smo bili prijatelji. Svi smo odrasli za jedno. Mitar. Dragan, Goran, Mio, mogu da nastavim s Fio, a? We were friends, but I are never friends. Friends that Goran and his guys killed. My fucking neighbors. Because of what? Because of shit. Lies. Fucking lies! So that makes it okay? To stab your friends in the back? When everything you believe is shown to be shit, you make strange choices. Fuck you! <laughs> strange choices? How much? <laughs> A thousand. <laughs> you killed my friends for one thousand dollars. How much do you charge to kill someone? You ruined me, you fuck! I needed the money. I had problems. You're a fucking junkie! Kill me, Dan! You fucking hypocrite. Trust me. You'll be doing me a favor! Ah! Nico, come on. 
Look, let's go. Let him suffer. He, he knows what he did. It doesn't look like he enjoys life too much. Come on. Let's go, cousin. Where am I? What is this place? You piece of shit! That was for everyone! That was for me! Okay, Nico, it's over. It's all over now. Leave him there. We should go, before anyone turns up. Will you take me over to Bruce's house? I'm turning this shit off. I can't take listening to those annoying ads and DJs right now. There you go. You got your revenge. How does it feel? I don't know how it feels. I'm trying to take it all in. This is the moment you've been waiting for. For so long, Nico. What do you mean you don't know how you feel? I mean, I don't know. I feel empty, okay? I feel empty. It's something. At least. No, Roman. It's nothing. The emptiness is what I was trying to get rid of by finding Darko. I've been empty ever since that day. I thought that revenge, that killing Darko, might fill me up a bit, might give me some substance. And it hasn't? No, it hasn't. Does that make you happy? Of course it doesn't make me happy, but maybe this is good for you. Maybe now that you know that revenge is not what you are after, you can look for fulfillment in other places, healthy ones. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Here we are. Do you want to come in and hang with Brucey? No. I need to be alone. Thank you for being with me, cousin. Do not mention. Call me, Nico. The wedding is soon. Florian, I thought you should know. Darko is dead. He's finally paid for his crimes. That's good to know, Nick. You should let go of it now. You have a new life in America. Forget the past. Sometimes I think my past is all I got. So long. You look after yourself. Nico, the shit has gone down. I need to see you. Come to the club in Tudor. All right, Mr. Pegorino. I'll see you there. Tinder bug. Here we go. Tip, please. Great, thanks. Okay. Vodka on the rocks. Nico, uh, good to see you. And you, how are you? Uh-uh, fucking terrible. We got legal problems, all kinds of crap. You know how things have gone. I've heard some things. <sighs> you get close to your dream, then something holds you back. No, 
Well, commission or no commission, I ain't gonna starve. People don't want me around, they don't have to have me. But I know how to earn. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you! I looked out for you, and I'll pay good, real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that H. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Dmitry Raskolov. No, we've got the history. I know, but this is real. I need you. Real? What the fuck is real? Real because it's you? Real because it's my last chance. Then good luck. No, I need you to get that H. I need the money. I looked out for you. You know, people wanted to whack you. I said no. Now I need you. And I'll pay a lot of money. Listen, Mr. Pegorino, I already told you. I got no, history. No, you listen, you dumb immigrant fuck. I ain't asking you. I'm telling you, do this. Get over your principles. These guys don't hold grudges. Do it or you and me are going to have a problem. Look, Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you down in Tudor. All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? Roman, I have a problem. You've got a problem, Nico. I'm about to get married. I'm about to commit to one woman for the rest of my life. This is serious, Roman. I have been asked to work for Dmitry Reskolov again. There could be a lot of money in it. I heard you two had resolved your differences. He's on some boat in East Hook, right? What, you knew about this? He's on a boat in East Hook? Yeah, I, I heard you had forgiven him and were working together. You're doing this deal, right? Now that I know where Dmitry is, I might just go there and take him out instead. Have you forgotten that he burned down your apartment and business? That he arranged your kidnapping? Now I have a better apartment, and I'll have an even better one if you work with him again! Promise me you won't do anything hasty, cousin. I have to think about it. Speak to you later. Hey, Kate. I have a decision to make. And I don't know who to talk to about it. What's your choice, Nico? There is a man who betrayed me in the past. I am being asked to work with him. It could be very profitable, but it would mean going back on an oath I swore to myself. You shouldn't work with him, Nico. You don't need money. What is it going to change about your life? I don't know. It'll make things easier for me and for Roman. I'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money, Nico. Goodbye. Come on, run away, man! Ah! 